Okay, so let's uh, practice DynamoDB. So I'm going to create a table. So let me click on this create table. So I'm going to call this table product. Okay. In DynamoDB, we need to specify a partition key. So let's enter it product ID. Okay. And uh, sort key is optional, leave it is, and default setting leave as it is. And let's click on create table. Okay. Now our table is getting created. Let's wait for a table to get created. What I want you to notice is that this table is getting created without creating database. Database already exists because it's serverless. We don't need to provision server. We just uh, want to say, hey, look, I want this table and please create it for me. And I don't care how it's being run. And this is the whole power of DynamoDB. And that's the whole power of serverless services, okay? So now our table is ready. If I uh, click here, and if I click here, say for example, explore table items, uh, there are none because there are no item right now. Okay, so let's add a few item here. So I'll click on create uh, item. Okay, so for the product ID, let's give hundred. Okay, and um, and then let's add few more attribute for uh, product name. Product name. Let's enter here laptop. Um, laptop. Okay. And we can have product description as well. Let's add new attribute string and this. Okay. Um, let's add one more attribute of number type and let's give this attribute name quantity. Okay. Let's give quantity how much? Uh, 10. Okay. Create this item. So again, it's, it's just, just super easy. So just click here and item, item got created, right? So now we have four attribute. Okay. If I click here. So you can see we have four attributes here. Okay. And uh, so let's create a second item. And this time give product ID 101. Let's add another one. So product ID 20, okay. Let's give 20, create item, okay. Now if you notice here that in the second one, uh, we had only, we did not give product description, only we had product ID and product name and quantity, but still, it allowed this item to be inserted in a table. Had it been RDBMS, right, it would have not allowed this item to be inserted because RDBMS is very uh, schema bound, right? So there is a, a schema. Uh, so anytime when you enter record, it the record has to be validated against a schema. And if it doesn't fit, it won't uh, insert it. But here in this case of NoSQL, even though the first one had four item, second one, sorry, first uh, one had four attribute, and second item only a three attribute, but it allowed that item to be inserted into the table bracket. Okay, so that's the whole beauty of uh, uh, NoSQL databases. And one important point also is that in NoSQL there is no concept of join. While in RDBMS you can join table, but in NoSQL there is no concept of join. That's reason data model of uh, NoSQL database is highly denormalized. On the other hand, in RDBMS, you see very normalized databases, normalized table. Okay, so this is enough for this example. And there are other few things, so you can go here and uh, click on monitor to see performance. If you have your table running in production, you can come here on monitor tab. You can see the performance of your table, how it is working, and, and here is the backup. This is the global table. These are various options uh, have been provided. But I think this is enough for this uh, DynamoDB uh, demo, so I'm stopping here.